Well, horror hounds, welcome to London Film and Comic Con 2019. I found what's well, probably the only quiet bit in the entire freaking building. And horror is pretty damn well represented this year. We've got David Norton from An American Wealth in London, the legendary Kane Hodder, CJ Graham, Jason from Friday the 13th Part 6, Jason Lives, who I've just met and got his autograph, and that man is an absolute legend, very engaging, very chatty. I've got a photo shoot with him tomorrow in costume as Jason, which I'm really looking forward to, and a photo shoot with Kane Hodder. I haven't met Kane Hodder yet because his queue is, is not so, so I'm going to keep circling back and seeing whether his, his queue diminishes or not, and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know who I meet, what I get signed, what photos I get taken. Friday I couldn't be there and there was a guest there who was only going to be there on Friday and it was going to be her last convention signing ever. So thankfully a really good friend of mine who was there on Friday uh, queued and met Hammer legend Barbara Shelley and got her to sign a 10 by 8 for me which I will treasure. I'm really sorry I never got the opportunity to to just be face to face with her and tell her how amazing I think she is in Dracula, Prince of Darkness, but I'm so glad that, uh, that my friend took the time to go and get her autograph on Friday. Saturday, my first guest was James Jude Courtney, who, along with a little bit of Nick Castle, played Michael Myers in Halloween 2018. I thought his queue was quite small, and I thought I'd better jump in there quickly before it gets a busy really stand-up guy lovely to talk to very engaging he's very positive about uh, horror fans and the horror community in general in fact he went so far as to say he thinks that all the world's problems would be absolutely sorted out if horror fans were just put in charge of it so I think I'm, I, I, what I'm getting is off the back of uh, Halloween 2018 he's having a real blast uh, going to conventions, uh, meeting the fans and just enjoying the general vibe, which was fantastic throughout the weekend, to be perfectly honest. After that, for me, it was David Norton from American Wealth in London. I couldn't not get his autograph when he was uh, announced as a guest for LFCC this year because... Uh, sorry, Randy Mole. Uh, I know you think it's the howling, but uh, you are wrong. American Wealth in London is the best werewolf film ever made. And I got to tell him basically that uh, as far as I'm concerned, the entire film would fall to pieces if we didn't believe his performance as David Kessler in that film. So there's an awful lot of weight on his shoulders in that film to give a great performance, to make us believe all the other crazy stuff that goes on around it. And I think he did give a phenomenal performance. So I was glad to be able to look him in the eyes and, and tell him that. I zipped a couple of cues down and met the frankly phenomenal CJ Graham, Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th Part 6, Jason Lives. The guy is such great value, nice and chatty, happy to engage, happy to take the piss out of Kane Hodder who's sitting next to them. Those two, I think they've clearly known each other years and years and years, especially on the convention circuit and the like, they clearly get on. Uh, their interaction is hilarious. CJ is hilarious. He was my guest at the convention. I'll be completely honest with you. Each year, Showmasters and LFCC have a really strong horror representation. What always also happens every year is there's usually at least one horror guest that they completely underestimate the popularity of. Last year, it was uh, Nick Castle and Toby Hooper. I've seen it in Birmingham with uh, Robert England. Uh, this year, it was Kane Hodder. Just huge cues, a phenomenally popular guest that completely overwhelmed them. They hadn't prepared any virtual queuing tickets for him throughout the entire weekend, even though he was popular Friday, popular all through Saturday. I spent the whole of Saturday just circling back round to his queue, back round again and again and again. He was always so in demand. I spent all day yesterday uh, coming back and coming back and coming back to this queue. So I'm just going to stand here and wait. And I did for, for an hour, hour and a bit, which was fine because this is, the, this is who I wanted to meet. Kane is lovely. Uh, he loves his fans. He clearly loves 
Jason and, and the character of Victor Crowley from the Hatchet movies. I did notice that the sign that they put up behind him uh, with a, a photo of him as Jason and some of the movies he appeared on, someone had hastily scribbled out Freddy versus Jason. And that's clearly still a little bit of a sore point for him because there was a, a fantastic Friday the 13th talk with CJ Graham and Kane Hodder, which was absolutely brilliant. So much fun. Those two guys both have a fantastic sense of humour about them. So it was it was brilliant to actually meet uh, Kane in the flesh and have a quick chat with him. A friend of mine bought a whole collection of hot sauces. Uh, from uh, a stall called Dean of the Dead and um, I sampled a few of them and I'm not a hot sauce guy I don't like hot sauces but these tasted this is not a paid for promo these just tasted so good that I had to go back on the Sunday and buy myself some Texas Chain Sauce Massacre Dean of the Dead um, there's some free advertising for you there but you absolutely deserve it your hot sauces are delicious I rounded off the day with a couple of photo shoots. Kane Hodder, brilliant as ever, and wrapped up the uh, wrapped up the whole weekend, basically on on the best tie I could get with the C.J. Graham in Jason costume photo shoot. Uh, met a lovely young lady in the queue. Hi, Charlotte. It was absolutely fantastic meeting you. And sorry if I babbled at you. And CJ was on just such fine form in his um, full Jason Voorhees gear, playing to the crowd, doing bits of business with the people coming to get their photos done. Bowie knife here, throttling here, machete here, playing to the crowd as well. Any time uh, someone came in, in cosplay, there were a couple of Michael Myers in the queue before me. And each time a Michael would turn up with a kitchen knife, he'd hand his Bowie knife off to his partner and pull out his machete so it could be machete mine's bigger than yours um lots and lots of little kids who are little jason fans and he was phenomenal with all of those manhandled all the guys knives to throats knives to chests it was an absolute blast and it was the best way i could have rounded off the weekend which uh, was phenomenal tiring hot sweaty my feet think i hate them but I don't. And that was my LFCC 2019.